Welcome to our live training session number 30. We're going to be learning how to tune a Mitsubishi Evolution 9 using AM Infinity. Let's jump into some details about the vehicle. It's going to have a built 4G63 engine using a 94mm crank. That's going to make it about a 2.2 liter displacement. It's also going to have forged pistons and rods. The pistons are going to be about a 10.5 to 1 compression. On the top end of things, we have a full valve train installed along with Kelford 272 cams as a stock intake manifold and a stock throttle body. Now moving on to the turbo side of things, it has a custom turbo kit. It's going to be using a precision 5862 turbo. It's going to have a three inch turbo back exhaust, a large front mount intercooler, a tile MVR wastegate and a tile blow off valve. On the fuel system side of things, we have ID 1050X injectors, upgraded lines, upgraded fuel pressure regulator, fuel rail, fuel pulse damper, we have in-tank wall barrel fuel pumps, and one of the fuel pumps is gonna be staged to come on in boost control through the Infinity, which we're gonna be taking a look at how to set that up in this training course. We also find we have a ton of different sensors installed. We have a AEM three and a half bar map sensor, an AEM intake air temp sensor, an AEM oil temp sensor. We have a zero to 100 PSI fuel pressure sensor, a zero to 150 PSI oil pressure sensor, we also have a flex fuel sensor installed and an AEM 12 position trim pot used for our boost control. Now we're going to be mapping this on 93 octane and on E85 using the flex fuel feature with the Infinity. We're going to have a lot to cover, so let's jump into our live training session so we can get started. Welcome to our live training session with our Mitsubishi Evo 9. We just went over all the details of the vehicle. Let's jump into our Infinity Tuner software so we can begin creating our base calibration file and get our engine fired up. So what we're going to do is jump into our software here. We can see at the top it's showing a not connected status. That's because the box is powered off. I have the ignition key off in the vehicle. I'm going to power on the ignition right now. It's going to take a few seconds for it to actually connect with the USB. Now the USB is plugged into the Infinity. It is plugged into my laptop. We can see here it's going to be showing that it's going to be connecting. Now what we're going to find it's going to show USB Infinity Series 5. This is a 506 box. This is a plug and play Infinity setup for the Evo 9. So it's the AEM plug and play harness and the 506 box. So everything here we can, uh, we're going to be able to use the base session file from AEM for an Evo 9. And then we'll go through and modify everything specifically for the vehicle. So. We also can find in the upper right hand corner here, session ID, it's showing Mitsubishi Evo 9. Um, I've already loaded a base session file on this just to make sure it was going to run and everything was going to be okay before we started doing our actual tuning. Now we're going to go and import the completely stock base session file from AEM um, so that we can start over in this video here so I can go through every single detail. It's going to make a lot more sense along the way of doing this training course. So right now what we're going to do is go to file, we're going to go here to import calibration data and then we're going to move up here into our folder. Now if I move up my directory here, we're going to find in the Infinity AM folder here in my C drive, I have my Infinity Tuner folder. We're going to move into our sessions file. We're going to go into our base sessions. We're going to go into 96.3 and then move into the 506 and 508. This is a 506 box. Then we'll move down in here and this is going to be where we find all the base sessions. Right now we have a Mitsubishi Evo 9 Myvec. V96.3. This is running the latest firmware of 96.3, um, so I'm going to be selecting this file here. Click open. Now this is going to be essentially taking everything I have in the box right now and resetting it back to the stock default settings that will start and run a stock Evo 9. Now in this situation here, um, we have a lot of modifications done and it's not going to start and run the car. So we have to go in and make a lot of changes to the base session. That's okay. Again, we're going to be going through that process to so very clear what you need to do if you have an Evo 9 and you're following along here. Um, we're going to find that it is doing the importing right now. It's just restarted the ECU. And we'll give it a second. Now, it's showing not connected status here. What I'm going to do is actually unplug my USB cable here from my laptop. I have had issues with this before when it does a power cycle after it uploads and imports the base session file. Let's plug the USB back into my laptop and give it a second. It should take, um, should take here a few seconds for it to recognize. And there we go. It's recognized it. And now we'll find that we have the base session file loaded from AEM. So now we're essentially put the box all back to the default values that AEM would have used for an Evo 9 that was all stock. So we have a lot of things to cover in here, a lot of things to set up. Let's jump into our inputs and outputs first and get all of our details set up. Then we'll jump into our tables and go through that configuration process, setting up our VE table, setting up our spark timing table, and some other associated tables that are going to be important to define and set up properly so that we can begin our training here. So let's go into wizards. We're going to move into setup wizard, and we're going to go 
all the way down from uh, from the top, I should say, from the engine, all the way down our list here through all the, uh, the setups. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.